The DRDO has successfully conducted the test of Agni Prime new generation nuclear capable ballistic missile today, which makes it the second test after its maiden test in June 2021. The Agni Prime is an advanced canisterized variant of Agni missile with 2000 km range, that features many advanced technologies, including new composites, propulsion systems, innovative guidance and control mechanisms, and state-of-the-art navigation systems. The Agni Prime can even be maneuvered at one point, that makes it more difficult to intercept, and the canisterized variant also increases the launch options of the Strategic Forces Command. The former chief of DRDO has already stated, that four actuated fins on the re-entry vehicle will enable on-demand maneuverability with high accuracy while it re-enters the atmosphere, and that the Agni Prime can also hit moving targets such as an aircraft carrier, and has enough warhead to destroy other ships in the vicinity of the carrier. In a very big development, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has said, that during his meeting with the French Defence Minister, France has agreed to make a jet engine in India under the strategic partnership model, which means that the programme will be executed with the participation of an Indian private sector firm. He did not divulge more information, but he informed that such an engine is currently not being manufactured even in France. The French firm Safran has already offered its M884 core to be used for the development of the new engine that can generate 110 kN thrust, and is ready for transfer of technology for almost all sections of the core section, that will be integrated with the DRDO developed fan along with an afterburner section. Safran has also offered a Dassault aviation owned Rafale aircraft to be used as a flying test bed for the new engine program. The flight trials will be conducted in France, and it will later be cleared for production in India. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has asked French defence firms to collaborate with Indian companies and produce their systems in India. The French Defence Minister has said, that France is open and ready to provide any additional Rafale fighter jets to the Indian Air Force, and has offered the Rafale M variant for India's second aircraft carrier, as the use of the same aircraft by the two strategic partners is a reflection of real strength in their ties. She also said, that France is fully committed to support the Make in India initiative and further integrating the Indian manufacturers into its global supply chains. India has made it clear, that it is seeking a change from buyer-seller relationship to a more meaningful collaboration and manufacturing of cutting-edge systems like future unmanned aerial vehicles and submarines. India plans to develop two long-range hypersonic cruise missiles under the project Vishnu, that will get some of the technologies that are currently being validated by the hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle. The DRDO will conduct fresh trials of the hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle in early 2022, after which the development of two hypersonic cruise missiles will get official sanction in 2022. Under the Phase 1 of the Project Vishnu, a surface-to-surface -surface hypersonic cruise missile of 2,500 km range will be developed, that will enter service by 2024. In the Phase 2 of the Project Vishnu, a much more compact and a smaller rear-launched hypersonic cruise missile will be developed for launches from fighter jets, that will have a range of more than 700 km. At a time when Boeing is optimistic on the additional order of Chinook helicopters by the Indian Air Force, the chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has confirmed, that the company is also looking to work on a 24-ton helicopter, that will put it in the class of Chinook heavy lift transport helicopter. Hindustan Aeronautics will hold discussions with the armed forces before the configuration of the new helicopter class is confirmed. The Chinook has been significant in the forward deployment of M777 howitzers and machinery along the line of actual control, due to which the Indian Air Force is keen to order more of these helicopters.